So, Damien, good to see you. Uh, good to talk to you. It's been a, another successful period for uh, for Tyrone GAA. The Masters are, are all Ireland champions, and uh, I'm sure you guys have been uh, celebrating over the course of the last uh, four or five days. But uh, a fantastic achievement by, by by you, your management, and obviously the players, Damien. Ah, oh, definitely. It's great celebrations to get over the line there because in 2018, Dublin beat us in the final, and then 2019, they got us in the semi final, and then uh, we owed them one to be honest, but no, oh, hey, we gathered up a good ba- a management team, and so we did. There's four of us on us, and a uh, good physio and, and uh, goalkeeping coach. So we just give it a lash, but hey, the players been on a serious amount of work, so they deserve all the applause, really, in fairness. Yeah, obviously, the, the older guys around the county still kicking ball, but uh, they would have put on a, a massive effort this year, so they would have, uh, they mean, it's I suppose it's. It's just like when you when you're playing during the seniors or at any other age group, you, you need the commitment there, and it was there from all the lads. Oh, I definitely know. It's nice to get them fellas on board, but hey, as soon as they come on, they give a hundred percent effort, hundred percent behind everything, and never said anything, and just played away and stayed away. But their experience, you know, to bring it into that group and bring us on and raise the profile of the masters forward was nice to see. Now and it's good for everybody involved, isn't it? Yeah, was the All Ireland the target from the outset? Well. In fairness, it was because we thought we'd been knocking on the door for a couple of years. We just couldn't get over the line. So thinking we just knuckled down and trained hard and seen where it got us. And we just took it game for game. But we just got there to finish up, thank God. Yeah. Did you guys take much inspiration from Fergal Logan and Brian Doher's team who, who lifted the Sam Maguire this year? Aye, aye. Well, no, they can do it. So we, we, we said this, we said, we know if they can do it, no reason why we can't do it. We've been on the same amount of effort and things. So these guys is coming Wednesday night and the Saturday as well from maybe start of June right through. So they have a, they've been putting on a serious commitment and they've put their lives on hold again as if they're back with the county teams again. So they deserve all the blood. We're just guiding them along the road. Just Yeah. Tell us about that all Ireland final game. It matches one. 2-9 to 1-8. To what was the, the decisive periods in that game which, which led to you guys becoming All-Ireland champions, Damien? Well, it was, it was cagey enough for the first 15 minutes. Probably Dublin would have got a bit better. But then the second quarter of the first half, we kind of went two points in front going into half time. We thought we could have been more in front for the possession we had in that quarter. But then in the second half, Dublin came out at us in the first 10 minutes of it. And then just we kind of took control and we got the second goal in the second in the second quarter and then we just kind of sealed the game out to be honest yeah you have a number of previous All-Ireland winners of course in, in, involved in your panels at 4 or 5 that you had this time 5 yeah there? 5 yeah yeah, who yeah sure. it's great to see them it's great to see them boys coming out and getting back involved again they the were throwing football nothing like at the end of the day and they come out and they said they give it a lash and Thank God we got over the line there. But they, they, even their experience and their expertise that they bring to it and they're even around the group and it gives everybody a lift, you know, in fairness. Very, very good. Yeah. Stephen O'Neill, uh, Connor Gormley. Who else? Ray McMenamin. Uh, I'm uh, listening Keen to Gurley. Gurley. Uh, Keen Gurley. and Owen Bradley. And, uh, there's, and there's other fellas, Damien and Michael, Damien Kelly, Barry Collins. Mikey Anderson would have won uh, under uh, minors levels as well, 21. So no, hey, there's a good balance of players. Good big squad. With 41 of a squad and it takes everybody to go through to get over the line like that's the one we had this year yeah thank is god it, yeah is it true that that, that stephen o'neill is the uh the only player uh on in the entire country both north and south to one and all ireland now at every single age group playing football the whole way from underage right up to, to masters i was stevie would tell you but stevie would be very shaky and i felt i didn't want to say too much about it but i is i know in fairness we were chatting about it on saturday evening after we went back and he was he's humble enough now to tell you this he's very happy he's his first man ever to do it yeah. thank god we got him over the line yeah many of these boys are going to be available to you next year now because you have to defend us all ireland didn't you I uh, well, I suppose now we'll try and get we'll try and keep them on board and bring in another couple there because you have Dublin pushing again to come back up and Johnny Gall yourselves pushing against it. And it's a good competition like at the end of the day, but it's just that we get a big bit of more recognition from the G. G. Yeah, and uh, I see as well that uh, Donald uh, Megan Allen was part of, of your group, Cormac's <clears throat> uh, brother. Aye, uh, it was. <clears throat> I just had a child there a couple of weeks before, just on the lead up to it. Two weeks old, so nah, fair play to Donald. He gives it his all. He, good fella and good man to have about the group. He brings spent the enthusiasm and energy to it, no problem. Yeah, well, listen, it was a brilliant achievement and a very special occasion, of course, for for uh, the group as a whole. But uh, many congratulations on your All-Ireland success, Damien, and uh, the best of luck with uh, defending your title next year. 
No bother, Ashley. Thanks very much for having me on, and thanks very much. Just like to thank everybody for the support and everything. So, thanks very much. We'll give it a go, anyway.